But even I bothered me around a long time, and I come along and claim I can prove it, and of course nobody believes a word of it. Old man, and uh, you can read yesterday's Times, and there's a big article about me, which I'm rather cross about, but it says more or less, crazy old man thinks he solves the problem. But even I bought this, ha ha ha, you know, but not quite as badly as that, but mm -hmm. time speak. And, uh, and the point is, I have solved it. So uh, I'm certain, certain in me that I've got this problem mm -hmm. fully tied up here. And moreover, unlike people who've searched, I wasn't even looking for the problem. I was trying to do something different. That's exactly what I was going to ask. So where, where was that moment when you realized that, you know, your work could, because you were looking at the, um, the, the constant. Fine, fine structure constant. Yes. Fundamental problem in physics. So how did you go from that and suddenly think, ooh, this, this could work with, with Riemann? Like, how did that well, happen? Well, it's, it's a complicated story. Of course, I did actually say something about the new hypothesis a few years back. But what I said then, is still true what I think now, is that A, I can prove the Riemann hypothesis. B, the Riemann hypothesis is not true. <laughs> now, that seems contradictory, but if you know your girdle, it's not. Mm -hmm. It means you can prove the Riemann hypothesis with a certain set of axioms, and with more axioms, you can prove another Riemann hypothesis, but you can't prove all the hypotheses. You can't prove all, fool all the people all the time. Eventually, God says, ne plus ultra, you've reached the end of the road, you can't get the Riemann hypothesis out of bounds. And that's the real story. But on the way, I prove the Riemann hypothesis, because I prove it upside down. People usually wanted to wait till they got to the end of the road and look back. Mm -hmm. and tell all the Riemann hypothesis they could have. I started at the beginning of the road, I choose the first Riemann hypothesis I come to, mm -hmm. the one that Riemann came, I solved it. Okay, what's a great big deal? And there's still many more Riemann hypotheses in front. The next road there'll be another one, a more general one, and a more general yeah. one. I'll take them one at a time. Are you, so, so that's your plan, you're going to go for the other ones? And <laughs> I think after a while I'll hand them over to the youngsters. Hey, look, <laughs> I've done the first few, you see how it goes, <laughs> just carry it on the same way. And more or less that's correct. So. Yes, well, it's, uh, you know, the first step is the one that counts. That's a good French phrase for that. Mm. Yeah, first step, qui coûte. Yes. So first step is actually the, the, you know, the, the most dramatic step you take. So you, you gave this, um, this outline of the proof yeah, in yeah, your lecture. Yeah. Um, and then are you, I assume you're planning to, to sort of write this up fully, or is it already available, the full proof, or will this be coming over the next few weeks. Full proof is available mm -hmm. in the following sense. You read that, my short paper, which is only five pages. I, I read and, this morning. And, yeah. and you read my paper on the fine structure content, which is about 15 pages. Those between them contain the whole proof. Okay. Now, you may not be smart enough to understand that, and most people say, I don't follow it at all, but it's there. But I'm going to write another paper. Mm -hmm. But that will be the best proof. And I will say, look, here, read my here now, I would say, look, please, of course, I, I knew it all the time. What's the fuss about? <laughs>